Well, once again, we are live here on the Big Taste Grill. Casey is just all smiles, ear to ear. You haven't been this happy since they were here back in August. And I won't be this happy till they come back in <laughs> August either. Uh, just a great, great setup. It smells delicious. Susie here, the grill master, has cooked up another spectacular set of uh, sausage for us this morning. What do we have? So today we have our original brat, and we also have a hot Italian sausage. And also on our Firestorm burrito, we also have the hot Italian sausage. So we got to keep you guys full and happy here, right? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Do you mind if I do? Oh, please. So this go is ahead. the hot one right that here. Is the hot Italian. All right, gonna take a bite of this bad boy. Yes. Then we're going to hop on over there to the burrito here in just a minute. Never too early for a bite of brat. And while Casey is enjoying that and giving it, I'm sure, two thumbs up. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We're, we're going to slide over to Susie because you're going to be here for the next three days grilling hundreds and hundreds of brats and all for a great cause. Yes, most definitely. Uh, we are going to be at the Speedway Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, the proceeds go to the Speedway Children's Charity. So it's a great cause and we're happy to help out. What kind of a response do you get when you're driving through town? Because having you set up in our parking lot, cars have gone by, everybody's honking. I mean, people are excited. It's like somebody's making Johnsonville brats this morning. That is. And our most famous question, whether we're traveling down the road or even set up sometimes, people say, is that really a grill? And it's, yes, it is really a grill. And give us the numbers because they're impressive. So it is 65 feet long. Um, it weighs over 50,000 pounds. Just the lid alone weighs over 6,000 pounds. Um, at one time, we could grill 750 brats, so in an hour, we could have 2,500 brats grilled up. If you want to follow them, you can always follow them on their website. They're super active on social media. We're showing you that right now, but you can see this grill and their tour, and they're all over. And Casey, you and I were saying just incredible the things they do, and that's what Race Week is all about, getting to meet some great people. It sure is, and just describe the interaction. As you travel the country, obviously come here to the Tri-Cities uh, for the race is what it's like to be able to meet all these great people and, and enjoy a great brat. It is. It is amazing, and especially to me, the charity part is near and dear to my heart. And I love meeting all the charities, and I actually do keep in contact with a lot of people I've met over even the past two years of being on the grill. Very cool. And you've given us some great recipes, some great grilling tips. If you're just waking up with us this morning, you missed learning about, what was it, the hot tub bath? The brat hot tub. Yeah, the brat hot tub, and we've got some great recipes, but we're going to post those on yeah, our website. With the popper when we came, got together in yeah. August. Yes. And now we've got the burrito that I got my eye on right now. So we're gonna put that right there. We got this one right here I've had my eye on. I like three things when I eat. I like sausages, I like tortillas, and I like salsa. You hit all three of them all right. right there, Susie. Enjoy. Oh, it is happiness all wrapped up on live television on a Thursday Delicious. morning. Well, listen, while Casey is enjoying his brat right here, we're, we've go we're going from the huge to the tiny because Allie is checking out the tiny house village also over there right outside Bristol Motor Speedway. Allie? Yes, 